Hey guys, Zero here, and welcome back to the Under Oath Retrospective. Today is going to be a shorter, simpler video because we're going to talk about something new Under Oath related. Um, the re release of Act of Depression and Cries of the Past. Yeah, if you remember on my part one, I talked about these albums briefly, and the packaging might look a little different because the re release actually has different artwork. Other than that, these are pretty much the same albums. All five tracks are on both albums, and they have completely new artwork. Uh, as you can see, um, Cries of the Past has the red theme going on, and all the songs are on the back. And uh, Act Depression has the blue theme going on with the credits on the back here. Now, inside, the CDs have the original artwork with some uh, information regarding copyright, and the color of the Under Oath O is the color that corresponds to that album. Um, so, same thing here going on with Act of Depression, shows the original info, and shows the blue O. Um, other than the fact that the art's different, these are pretty much the same album. The same albums, I should say. Um, all the tracks from those albums are on here, and it's a pretty good steal if you get them both together. I got them both together for about 20 bucks. Not bad. Um, now, some of you might be going, only five songs per album? That sucks. Well, <laughs> If you remember my review, each album has tracks over seven minutes. The shortest one on Act of Depression actually is five minutes and 50 seconds. And on this one, <laughs> seven minutes and 36 seconds. So they're pretty long albums for the tracks. Um, the only gripe I have about this set is that I kind of wish that the reddish, amberish color was for Act of Depression and the bluish, whitish color was for Cries of the Past because I don't know if it's just me, but those colors seem to fit those albums better. So these should actually be swapped in my opinion. But anyways, there's not much to say about the artwork. They're just simple designs of forests and rock and stuff. Not really much to say. Um, there's no booklets with these. It's just basically what you see. They're just uh, um, they're just eco-friendly cases, which is something they all get into next time. Um, but yeah. Now, if you want to get these albums, you can order them online at Interpunk or another CD dealer. Um, you can get these retail, but they're in very limited quantities, and they have to be ordered in at most stores. In fact, the stores where I'm from only offer these ordered in, so you're not going to see these on the shelves, probably. Um, there's not a high enough demand for them, but if you want to get these albums, get them now, because they're in a limited release. The originals go for like 250 bucks per album, because they were so limited. Um, even if you don't like the early Under Oath stuff, but you like the band, pick this stuff up. I guarantee it's worth it. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching this little mini-sode of the Under Oath Retrospective. I'll see you next time with Define the Great Line. And I said that wrong. Define the Great Line. Okay. Later. Hi guys, thanks for watching this episode of the Under Oath Retrospective. Uh, if you'd like to see parts 1, 2, or 3, um, I have links to them in the description below. They're on the River City Gamers website exclusively. Uh, it would really help me out if you went and watched them, so please take a moment to take a look at them. Thank you very much, guys, and I'll see you next time.